Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about a topic that's been a major point of confusion and frustration for many of you. Windows 11 and its strict system requirements. Specifically, we're diving into what happens when you install Windows 11 on an unsupported PC and how Microsoft is handling the situation. When Windows 11 was first announced, Microsoft made it clear that they were raising the bar for hardware. We're talking about things like a trusted platform module or TPM 2.0 and a list of specific and supported CPUs. This left a lot of people with perfectly capable Windows 10 machines falling left behind. But for a while, there were ways around it. People found workarounds using register hacks with third party tools to bypass the tricks and install the new OS on the unsupported hardware. For a time, Microsoft's official stance was a bit of a mixed bag. They advised against it, but they also published documentation that explained how to do it, almost as if they were grudgingly accepting that some people would go this route. However, things have changed recently. According to a report by Nguyen and other tech sources, Microsoft has begun to crack down, they've removed the official documentation, and have even the Windows Defender plug some of popular third-party bypass tools as potential malware. So, what does this all mean for you? If you already installed Windows 11 on an unsupported PC, you might be wondering about future updates. Microsoft policy is pretty clear. They will not guarantee that your PC will receive any update, including crucial security updates. This is a significant risk. Without these updates, your computer could be vulnerable to new viruses, malwares, and other security threats. In the world where digital security is more important than ever, this is a gamble you might not want to take. It's a tough situation. On the one hand, you have a perfectly functional PC that you want to keep using. On the other hand, you have Microsoft perishing for a new level of security and reliability that they believe is necessary for the future operating system. So, what's the solution? Well, for most people, the safest bet is to either stick with the Windows 10, which is support until 2025, or to consider upgrading your hardware. Microsoft offers a free PC health check app that you can download to see if your computer is compatible. If it is not, you might want to start planning for the future. Whether that means building a new PC, buy a new pre-built system, or even exploring other protein systems. Being informed is the best defense. Let us know in the comments what I think about Microsoft's strict requirements. Are you running a Windows 11 on a supported PC? What has your experience been like? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more tech news and tips. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.